Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and before I did my training this morning, which went very, very well, by the way, I just finished all my primary work, I read a couple of different meta-analysis this morning. I'm going to link them down below because I actually have them handy because I just read them today. A lot of times if I read a study or a meta-analysis three years ago, obviously I don't have the link, or if I read seven studies over several years, I don't link that stuff. It's just, I don't have it readily available always, but these I happen to. And I'll say were very interesting because the first one was about fiber intake and type 2 diabetes. And this meta-analysis went over quite a few different studies in the literature, analyzed it, and they absolutely found a strong correlation between increasing fiber intake by 18 to 20 grams a day, I believe. Anything in that range made a very noticeable and measurable improvement in people with type 2 diabetes. And I'm going to discuss the two factors in just a minute here of what, what it could possibly be. Now, they did conclude that this was just fiber in general. They didn't have specifics on specific types of fiber having the most impact. But it was also interesting that I saw a little bit of data earlier today. I'm not going to link it because I don't have the full data really handy. Suggesting that uh, fruit fiber specifically, the fiber found in fruit, seems to have the most positive impact on actual metabolic syndrome. So that was pretty interesting also. And then the other big deal I saw in fiber was a meta-analysis on strokes. And it appears that in men, men who have higher fiber content in their diets have a lower rate of strokes. And it appears to be all types of strokes, not just one type, unless I misread something. I only scanned this one over very, very briefly, so I apologize. I didn't read the full thing. But the reasons that we have for some of these things, this could be multifold, particularly the, the glucose control with the fiber, because obviously when you eat higher fiber, there's a slower breakdown and a slower release of all the carbs you eat. This is one of the reasons things like glycemic index doesn't matter so much, because if you have a bunch of fiber in your first meal of the day, that fiber is still in your GI tract for well over 24 hours. You don't poop it out the same day. So what ends up happening is that it lowers the glycemic index and the glycemic load and everything of everything you eat for the rest of the day. So th this is why some of this stuff doesn't really matter so much. But this impacts blood sugar because obviously you're going to get a slower release of all the carbs and protein and everything else that you eat for the whole day. And thus you're going to have better uh, glucose control. The other factor there, and this one probably plays a big role in the strokes, is that you have a large production in short chain fatty acids, particularly from soluble fiber when you eat it. A lot of the calories from it convert into short chain fatty acids, which are very different from your longer chain fatty acids. They're very, very ketogenic. When they reach the bloodstream, they tend to promote the production of ketones as they're broken down for fuel. And we know that ketones in healthy people, not to be mistaken with ketones from ketoacidosis and diabetics, can have positive neurological benefits in people for the brain and, and things like that. So that could be having an impact on the strokes and it might be having an impact on the metabolic functions involved for the diabetes also. So there's actually a couple different reasons for this and, and the data isn't conclusive as far as causation of specific types of fiber. This was just broad overviews of fiber intake in general. So in short, increasing the fiber in your diet, and I don't mean through supplementation, I mean through foods, will improve uh, your risk of diabetes it will improve the symptoms of type 2 diabetes if you have it. And if you're a man, we seems to indicate that it will lower the chance that you're going to have a stroke. So that being said, remember whole grains, fruits, and vegetables are your friends. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Look at that. Up on Mount Olympus.